we go. Um, yes, here we go. So the latest on Nikita. You always stream it. I know it's girl. You better get used to it because it's going to be the new routine over here. We're going to be streaming all the time. And when there's hot tea or in this case, I don't really consider it tea. But when there's new information and updates, I'm going to be going live, dropping it on here for y'all. That way y'all could see it. And then boom, there you go. So um, the latest is Nikita is receiving professional mental health care in a facility after getting arrested at a Miami hotel and spending time in jail. TMZ has learned Nikita's rep, Jack Ketsoyan. I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong. I literally just woke up. You could do a 24 hour live stream. I swear. Well, thank you for being here. Um, we want to thank everyone for the overwhelming love and support. This is her manager, I think, or her rep um, for Nikita during this time. She is in a safe environment addressing her mental health. We ask for continued respect for her privacy and the sensitivity of this matter as she seeks treatment and healing. We're told Nikita began seeking treatment Wednesday evening, which is shortly after she was released from jail. Um, it says the transgender influencer has been open about her mental health struggles. In May, she shared on her YouTube channel that she had been diagnosed as bipolar. Nikita said she has a family history of bipolar disorder, though she was initially surprised by her diagnosis because she didn't quite understand what it meant to be bipolar. As a result, she says she didn't relate relate her own symptoms to the disorder. TMZ broke the story that Nikita was arrested Tuesday on a felony charge of battery on a police officer after allegedly causing a disturbance at a swanky hotel as she walked around the pool area in the nude. The police uh, report obtained by TMZ said that when Nikita finally answered her hotel room door that she allegedly swung an open water bottle spraying a security guard and an officer, which led to her arrest. Nikita appeared in court earlier this week. She told the judge that she was being kept in a men's unit and asked to be transferred, a claim that the jail denies. Nikita was recent released from custody this week after posting a $5,000 bond. And shortly after that, she was admitted to the facility where she's getting treatment. So she is currently getting mental health treatment. Um, Hello, Van Luke. Nice to see you live. I just came from seeing what kind. Ooh, I hope that it was awesome. I heard that it's awesome, and I definitely want to see it. I can't wait to see it. Um, hope I haven't missed much. No, um, this is just a quick live stream. I just wanted to go ahead and keep y'all updated because y'all know from my last live stream, well, I had to edit it. Um, but when I edited it, for some odd reason, um, YouTube only allowed me to... Um, <laughs> YouTube only allowed me to save the edited version as a new video and didn't allow me to keep my live stream up for some odd reason. So it saved it as a new video. Excuse me for not having any makeup on. I'm literally <laughs> didn't put on, on no makeup. But yeah, so it um, saved it as a new video. So I lost all of my views on that live stream, which I was so sad about. So if y'all could please not just like up this uh, live stream, but please also like up that video um, and help me get to some views that were up over there. It has some pretty good views already. And so since y'all can see, I already covered um, the initial story. A lot of what I didn't see was being talked about on the internet, um, which was... Um, you know, kind of like after her arrest and things that happened uh, post arrest. And so this has happened post arrest. I do hope that Nikita gets the help that she needs. I hope that she gets in a mentally um, good place and um, that way she can come forward and um, or maybe even not. I mean, if she wants privacy, then hopefully her privacy can be respected and and, you know, she can get the peace and um, help that she needs. So I just wish her the best. I wanted to come on and share that information with y'all um i read that she was throwing water at the hotel staff not just yeah there was a whole bunch going on i'm i'm sure that there's a lot that's missing from the story i mean there was already a lot that was missing from you know the initial story and then we got to see on the lat on that video that i have up on my on my channel we got to see a lot of um you know kind of like more in depth of what was actually going on behind the scenes 
Um, no spoilers, but the film was amazing. You'll love it. Also, I love seeing your gorgeous ginger kitty. Thank you. He's sleeping, but he's here. He just he just took over my desk. That this was supposed to be my editing spot, and he just took over it. So I'm guessing that it's gonna be a full. Uh, I mean, that y'all are going to be able to see him often because he always likes to be where I'm at. He's very much uh, like a dog, uh, just wants to be around me at all times. He's like, stop touching me. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm guessing that he's just going to go ahead and be uh, a permanent guest on the show. He's my co-host, I guess you could say. Um, I'm shocked that this top topic blew up so much. Yeah, it's definitely, um, you know, I feel like if it's definitely... Because, again, I don't agree with a lot of the past behaviors and problematic behaviors that, you know, Nikita Dragon has shown us in the past and present as well. Um, I do not agree with that, but I do think that it's an important topic because although someone can be a bad person, quote unquote, um, and do these problematic things, they it doesn't mean that they don't deserve help. It doesn't mean that they should be treated badly. So I, I, that's why I just think that it was a topic that definitely needed to be talked about, especially because within the tra transgender community, you know, if she was indeed, which the jails are disputing, saying that she wasn't held in a men's facility, if she was indeed held, uh, held in a men's facility, then that's just not right at all. And it does bring up some very important issues in the LGBTQ plus um, community. So I think that that's why it was a, um, a topic that blew up, you know, because it is a very important talk topic to be discussed. So jet plane ears, huh? Oh, the ears. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. So um, I guess Poe is just going to be a permanent member of our uh, live streams, y'all. So hopefully y'all enjoy that. Maybe I can move this over here. And then that way y'all could get a good picture of him cleaning himself, taking a bath on, on stream. <laughs> so yeah. So um, I just wanted to go ahead and kind of let, let y'all know the latest um, on Nikita Dragon sending her well wishes and good vibes and hopefully you know um this is the beginning of a good mental health journey for her so um if there's anything else have y'all heard anything else any of the latest news that was the latest that i heard i believe it was posted about nine hours ago um is there anything else that y'all have heard maybe some new information that i missed he's over here taking a full-on bath if Nikita truly suffers from a bipolar disorder, then she needs help and medication, however problematic she might be. I, I agree, Diana. I, def I definitely agree. So, I, and I think that that was part of the issue. I think that there was definitely a break in, in her mental health that was going on. And I think that that was part of the issue, which also begs the question, you know, if she right now currently, if TMZ is reporting properly and she is in a mental health facility, it begs to question, you know, the whole uh, how this is going to go in the court when she does have to go. Uh, if if it even is going to be taken to, you know, trial or whatever, and how this is going to have a play in it, because I really do think, oh, my good God, Poe, he's over here licking his hiney <laughs> on camera. I really do think that, um, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Um, I really do think that it will play some significant role in her whole uh, court case moving forward. So I really do think that, you know, if, when it comes to 